on the eastern edge of Metropolis, Sonichu and Rosichu find the Jerkops and their transforming Panislav vehicles wreaking havoc in the city. Rosichu creates a sword of electricity and prepares to attack. Take your weapons, Sonichu, she says. Just turn me loose, sweetheart. I am my own weapon, Sonichu says. Together they charge into the fray. Rosichu leaps over a robot and attacks with Slash. As she lands, the robot splits in two behind her. She then high jumps to continue her attack. Meanwhile, Sonichu tackles the human jerk ups, using a homing attack to pull one over. He then performs a rolling kick to launch the jerk up into the air, and delivers the killing blow with a sky uppercut. Rosichu slashes several more jerk ups with paralyzing blade, and attacks them again with spinning links. I can't move! cries a paralyzed jerk up. Sonichu turns his attention to a robot, smashing right through its chest with his incredible speed. He dashes on to battle more of the enemies, punching, spin dashing, stomping, and electrocuting them mercilessly. Back at the Quickville shopping center, the jerk up forces have laid siege to them all, but it is defended by a dome of green energy magically generated by Patty Chan from the mayor's office. Outside, Dark Pine Sonichu battles the Jerkops with both his blade and his fists. Alongside him are Zephina Rosichu, who electrocutes the Jerkops from above, and DJ Jamsta Sonichu, who relies on unarmed combat. Loliza Rosichu also joins the battle, punching a Jerkop and kicking him in the crotch at the same time. In the skies, Magichan Sonichu uses his psychic powers to force a Cractor to crash into the ocean. He teleports onto a second plane to repeat the attack, but he is blindsided by a shadow ball. As he looks up to confront his assailant, he says, So, we meet again. For standing before him is the intersexual interloper, Silvana Rosichu. Yes, she says. Unfortunate for you, just like the last time when I had you outwitted with resistance to your telekinesis. You only tricked me, says Magichan, because of your psychic mentality blocking mine and telepathy. Plus, you deceived me with your feminine charms. You do not need to follow, Graduan. I have the power to resorter you to your birth gender, young lady. You still do not understand, Sylvana replies. I've not known any other life than from Papa's raising. I can never adapt to such a change. The life you truly need is one with honest, true friends. Your father is a liar, says Maggie Chan. He would sooner leave you to die to save his own. Oh, please, I have faith in Papa. He has never lied to me, ever. Only because you have accepted and perceived his words as true, and that he has used you for warrior strength and keen mentality. Enough! I don't have to take this from you, Magichan. My mission is to ensure success for my Papa and his slime ball of a woman. I see. Well, I have my own mission, to protect Quickville and all in and around it. I wish we were in agreement, but I have to stop Slowheel, the Count, and you. All right, let's psychic combat! Meanwhile, on the other side of the city, we find the author of the Jerkov invasion, the Dark Lord, Mary Lee Walsh. As she surveys her minions from atop her flying broomstick, she gets a call on her cell phone. Talk to me, Walt, she says. Slawheel, says Wes, reporting from the Quickville Mall. This mall is magically protected by this dome. Our dark forces cannot enter it at all, and our missiles can't make it crack. Outer volunteers and true police people have been combating our jerk hub squads and jets. Your magic may be able to remove the dome. Get here ASAP. I'll get there, replies Mary. I've got to fly around ours and their jets, their defenses, and their... Megazord? He paid me. Okay, says Wes. Back on the Eastern Front, Sonichu destroys another robot, and the battle has begun to take its toll on even his incredible stamina. With the east side of Quickville secure, the city's EMTs arrive to carry off the casualties. Here's another one. So many people to unbrainwash, says one of the ambulance crew as she loads a jerk op into a stretcher, unaware that he is already dead. The jerk ops are a breeze, Sonichu complains, but the Decepta jerks in heavy numbers really dulls my quills. 
Where's the backup when we need it? We're on it, Sonichu! Calls a familiar voice. Sonichu turns to find Chris's 1994 Ford Escort, with a hologram of Chris behind the wheel. Its bumper sticker reads, My other car is an Autobot. TM of Hasbro Incorporated. Oh, thank God! My quills were starting to get dull, Sonichu whines. No problemo, says Chris's car. We've got the touch. And so the car begins to transform itself, shifting its form until it becomes the Autobot Sanchu. Towering above Sanchu, Sanchu orders his team into action. Autobots, transform and attack PVC citizens decked the to clones. Punchy's motorcycle, Prowler, slices a jerk up robot into pieces. Bumble Lumpa serves pizza. Exelina opens fire on the enemy robots with her rifle. Armorax plays Guitar Hero, which destroys an SAV by generating a metal melter attack. Their commander, Sanchu, repels enemy fire with his shield. In the midst of the robot's battle, an awning on a nearby building comes loose and falls on Sanchu's head. Sorry about that, Sanchu, says Sanchu. Get back here, you robot chicken SAV! As Sanchu chases his opponent off, a jerk up robot seizes Rosachu from behind and takes her prisoner. It transforms back into a jerk up police cruiser and drives off, with Rosachu locked inside its passenger seat. Sonichu! Help! Rosachu cries. You, Unable to see Rosachu's abduction from under the awning, Sonichu finally realizes his wife is in danger. Rosachu? No! He shouts, throwing off the awning with a burst of lightning. I'll rescue you, sweetheart! He calls.